Yo, hey, this shit hey. easy, nigga. Hey, I'm talking about, nigga, I'm still out here trying to get it. Contender regime boxing checking back in with y'all, man. What's happening? I just want to talk about Keith Thurman, man. Keith one time Thurman, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I'm disappointed, man. You know, just looking back at Keith Thurman's career when he first started, when he really first started kicking up dust, I think it was when he knocked out Jose, uh, Jose Soto Carras. I believe that's his name. Uh, I know his last name, Soto Carras. You feel me? And um, you did what I'm saying? It was like Keith Thurman was this guy fresh on the scene, killing shit, talking big shit, you know, ready to take on all commas. You know, credit to Keith Thurman. He did fight Sean Porter. He did fight Danny Garcia. He did fight Manny Pacquiao. But it was a turn of events in his career and it really all started to happen when Earl the True Spence Jr. showed up on the scene. You dig? His whole attitudes towards fighters just changed, man. It seemed like, you know, all it's a hundred percent about money ain't no pride. You know what I mean? Now of course I don't blame none of these fighters for trying to get their money. Because at the end of the day, whether you want to believe it as a fan, me as a fan, Anybody as a spectator of boxing, no matter what you want to believe, bro, it's all about the money. Let's be, it's all about the money. Like, that shit never going to change. It's always been like that, and it's always going to be like that. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you're supposed to have a certain level of pride in this sport. You feel me? You're supposed to have a, a certain level of pride at heart. And I feel like Keith Thurman has lost touch with that. You know, I hear him talking about Terrence Crawford don't deserve no fight. Bro, you ain't even got no title, G. You know what I'm saying? So, you ain't even got no title, G. You know, you talking about Terrence Crawford don't deserve no fight. Uh, you see he's still ducking around Earl Spence. You know what I'm saying? He don't even want to mention Earl Spence's name. You know what I mean? You talking about you want a, Ma a Manny Pacquiao rematch. He don't even deserve no fight with Manny Pacquiao. You don't deserve no rematch with Manny Pacquiao, G. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing that fight because the first one was lit, but you don't even deserve no rematch with Manny Pacquiao, G. I just, it's kind of crazy to me, man. Like, how this man, you know, his whole attitude changed. I remember when he was getting that Pauli Malignaggi at the press conference. You better not duck me, son. You better not duck me, thun. Y'all remember that shit, man. Come on, dog. Like I don't understand, bro. Like you was, you was, you was coming at man. You was coming at Pauli Malignaggi neck, G. Now it's like your whole attitude changed. I used to be a fan, like a big fan of Keith Thurman, man. I like Keith Thurman. I, I think he's good for the game. I like his outside the ring antics. I like how the man vocalize his opinions. He talk good shit. I like that about Keith Thurman. You know what I'm saying? Well, you need that. You need character in the sport of boxing. It's entertainment at the end of the day. You need that. But man, like the heart and the 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 pride is gone with the brother Keith Thurman. You know, all these brothers out here trying to get their they, they money. Everybody out here trying to get their bag. If they tell you they not, they lying. So we understand that. But you got to have a certain level of pride in this shit, man. You got to have a certain level of pride. And I think the brother Keith Thurman has lost that. And I doubt that we'll ever get that back. You dig what I'm saying? I don't understand, man. I do. Did Earl Spence spook this man that much? To where he changed his whole ideology behind, you know, what makes a fighter. Because it used to be, don't duck me. I'm one time. KOs for life. Now, bro, don't even seem like he even want to get up for the fight. I seen last time I seen him, I know he been had a hand injury and shit, but last time I seen him, he looked like he weighed 192 pounds. You know what I'm saying? Fresh after the uh, Manny Pacquiao fight, G. So I'm like, man, what's going on? I, it's just kind of crazy to me. I'm just disappointed, man. Disappointed as a fan, you know, disappointed as a, you know, as a purist of boxing, man, and, you know, somebody who really loved the sport and a daughter sport man and you know just the characteristics that make a superstar in the sport of boxing you got to be about your bread but you got to be about your your heart your pride your merit your dignity you got to be about that that really 
Really, that should come number one. But I understand if you put the money first. I get that shit. It, like I said, if it was me out there, I'd do the same thing. You want to make sure your pockets are seen about. I get that. But damn, bro. That heart, that pride, that merit, that gall, them nuts. That shit got to come at least second, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Like, how y'all feel about the state of Keith Thurman, man? Like, do y'all feel like he'll ever return back to the Keith Thurman we once knew? Y'all let me know down in the comments, man. Contender Regime, boxing. I'll holler at y'all, boys, man.